we know that in a chemical reaction, there can be a limiting reagent. And this limiting reagent defines the amount of product that we can form. It also defines how much of the excess reagent is reacted and how much of the excess reagent is left after the reaction. And that's a quantity we'd like to calculate in the following example. In this example, we have a reaction that involves ammonia and oxygen. They react to form nitrogen monoxide and water. The question here is to calculate first the amount of nitrogen monoxide formed and the amount of grams left after the reaction of the excess reagent. Now, in order to solve this problem, we first have to write down the balanced chemical equation. And here it is. The reagents are ammonia and oxygen, and the products are nitrogen monoxide and water. This is a balanced equation. The number of atoms on each side of the equation are the same. The next step is to determine the limiting reagent. How do we do that? Well, we have to calculate first the balanced mole ratio and then the actual mole ratio, and then compare the two. The balanced mole ratio we get directly from the chemical equation. The reagents are ammonia and oxygen, and the ratio is 4 to 5, so it's 0.8. This is the balanced mole ratio. The next step is to calculate the actual mole ratio. We get that by calculating the actual amounts of moles of the reagent. I have 3 grams of ammonia divided by its molar mass, and we'll find 0.176 moles of ammonia. I can do the same for oxygen. I have 5 grams of oxygen divided by its molar mass, which is 32 grams per mole, and I find a total of 0.156 moles of oxygen. Now, the ratio between these two numbers is 1.13. So the actual mole ratio is 1.13. 1.13 is larger than 0.8, which was the balanced mole ratio. So we see that the actual mole ratio is larger than the balanced mole ratio. We know that under these conditions, the denominator is the limiting reagent. So in this case, that is oxygen. That means that the other reagent, ammonia, is the excess reagent. Now, once we know the limiting reagent, we can calculate the amount of product formed and also how much of the excess reagent is left. Let's first calculate how much of the product we form. We take the number of moles of the limiting reagent, which we just calculated, 0.156 moles of oxygen, and convert that into the number of moles of nitrogen monoxide, the product, by multiplying that by the mole ratio. Then we multiply it by the molar mass of nitrogen monoxide. If we do that, we find a total of 3.75 grams of nitrogen monoxide has formed in this reaction. We can also use the limiting reagent to calculate how much of the excess reagent is left. The first step is to calculate how much of the excess reagent has reacted. We can do that by taking the amount of limiting reagent and convert that into the amount of moles of excess reagent. This will be the amount of excess reagent that has reacted. The mole ratio is 4 to 5. I find 0.125 moles of ammonia has reacted. Now, at the beginning of my reaction, I had 0.176 moles of ammonia. Of that, 0.125 moles of it has reacted. That means that I have 0.051 moles of ammonia left after the reaction. Now, the 0.051 moles times the molar mass of ammonia gives me a total of 0.869 grams of ammonia. That's the amount that is left after the reaction. So we see that a terminal limiting reagent allows me to calculate two things, the amount of products formed and the amount of excess reagent left after the reaction. 